All right, let's take a look at the other Big 12 games of the weekend as part of what's trending with the Big 12 Roundup. Cue the music. Austin, start us off. Done deal. Number 15, Oklahoma beat unranked Cincinnati 69-65. to 65. Oklahoma's first Big 12 road win. It's hard to win season. on the road. So difficult. Oklahoma improves a 3-2 and two with the win in Big 12 play. Cincinnati falls a 2-3 and three with the loss. Up next for Oklahoma is Texas at home on Tuesday, and Cincinnati plays at Kansas tonight. Holy cow. How about this? I mean, the wild weekend doesn't even begin to explain what we just <laughs> witnessed. West Virginia beats number three Kansas in Morgantown, 81-75. Raekwon Battle has changed that West Virginia team. The insurgence of what he's brought over the past few games. He scored 23. Pat Sumnick added a career high 20 for the Mountaineers. Second home win for West Virginia over a ranked team. They also beat number 25 Texas a little over a week ago. Kansas is now five and seven in Morgantown since West Virginia joined the conference. It's tough to win there. BYU plays in Morgantown. I don't. I was gonna say, don't underestimate Morgantown. <clears throat> no way. You want to talk about energy and the influence on a game? Yeah. They got it. Kansas is three and two in five games, which means BYU is one game back of third-ranked Kansas in the Big 12 standings. They host Cincinnati tonight to the Jayhawks. West Virginia plays at UCF tomorrow. Number five, Houston. Coming to the Cougs, let's see if we can take it, but they beat the unranked UCF 57 to 42. Houston dominated the game defensively, holding UCF to a total of seven made field goals <laughs> and 16% from the floor. That is crazy. Goodness. Hopefully we have a little bit more success with that, <laughs> right? LJ Cryer scored 16 points to lead the Cougars. Houston improves the three and two. UCF falls to two and three. Houston plays at BYU tomorrow. UCF hosts West Virginia. Uh, then another upset, Texas 75, ninth ranked Baylor 73. The Bears have now lost two games in a row. Second top 10 upset of the weekend in the Big 12. Texas is Tyrese Hunter, length of the court, made a game winning layup as time expired to win. The Longhorns are now two and three. Baylor's three and two. The Bears are off until they host TCU on Saturday. Texas at Oklahoma tomorrow. The 24th Iowa State beat number 19 TCU 73 to 72. Iowa State dominated the first half, leading by 18 points at halftime and huh. scored 36 points off 27 turnovers. 18 point lead at half, that sounds a little familiar. Sounds very familiar. But they, they managed to hang on. Come on, we gotta finish. TCU had a furious comeback late in the game, but came up short. Iowa State improves at three and two, and TCU falls at two and three. Iowa State hosts Kansas State on Tuesday, and TCU is at Oklahoma State on Wednesday. I mean, to be honest, there, there's nobody in the Big 12 right now Everybody's beatable. Yes, every team is beatable, right? I mean, there's, there, I mean, there's no, other than Kansas, I think Kansas is in, maybe in a category of their own, but like, I mean, we're in the thick of it, right? Three yes. and two, two and three, everybody's we're pretty similar. Kansas State, they come back to beat Oklahoma State. Arthur Kaluma had 23 points to rally his troops. The Wildcats winning in Manhattan. It was tied at 66 with 24 seconds left. Wildcats made a layup to take a lead. They would not relinquish. Oklahoma State is the only winless team in Big 12 play. Oklahoma State had a double-digit lead in the second half. They couldn't hang on. No. Cowboys have been in some big games that just cannot finish the deal. So let's take a look at the Big 12 standings through five games. This is wild. So you got Texas Tech and Kansas State, four and one on top. Awesome. But my gosh, look at the log jam in the middle, Austin. I, I'm telling you, three and two, two and three. There are 11 teams within one game of each other through the first five. 11. It's just nuts. Yeah, that's that's wild. We're right there, man. I know. We if we if we can finish, we're right there. Listen, if BYU somehow uses the Marriott Center magic and beats Houston tomorrow. Holy cow. Be something. Don't be surprised. 